credits. Alright, so, let's talk about this game. Um, so, first off, um, <laughs> here. here, I'm gonna switch, gonna switch over real quick. If anything pops up, I'll switch back. But yeah, let's talk about this game. So, obviously, um, the story of this game was great, fantastic, much improvement from both Breath of Fire 1 and Breath of Fire 2. Um, the uh, battle, the fighting system was great too, really enjoyed it, um, really enjoyed the characters, it seemed like each character had their own personality and they added something to the story, so there wasn't like one person which you thought like, oh well, this person didn't really add anything, they're just kind of there. Um, and then I liked kind of the two-act thing, like the out of, um, kind of the childhood and adolescence, I think that was really good. Uh, except the second half of it, it just felt like you're grinding all the time. You have to do all these stupid missions that really, if you eliminated all of them, it would probably have taken you 20 minutes to get to the uh, Desert of Death and another 20 more minutes just to get to Amira. Um, so I felt like it was almost like, well, let's extend this game so let's add as much crap in here as possible for the player to do to get the game done. Um, and the other thing I didn't like were the enemies. I just felt like the enemies were just rehash of old sprites with different powers and different techniques, but they, they just didn't really do it for me. Um, and then also the power level was kind of weird too. It's like you could fight all these guys that are pretty easy and then all of a sudden you fight somebody and they're super difficult. Like King Goo, for example, like he could hit you one time and you're dead. Um, and I didn't like how sometimes you had to grind a lot, which I felt like I was doing a lot of grinding to get to the point where I could actually finish the game. Um, but overall, it's an okay game. I mean, I think if you were playing Breath of Fire 1, Breath of Fire 2, and then you went to go play Breath of Fire 3, I think there's a part of you that would say, wow, look at everything they do. They really beefed up the story, they beefed up the gameplay, everything's great. But then, you would kind of miss the simplicity of it, because it feels like you're just grinding, grinding, grinding. Uh, it's probably the, it's the reason why I stopped playing, because I was just tired of grinding that uh, 20-some years ago. Uh, but yeah, um, again, fantastic game. And again, this game was voted by you guys, the viewers, to keep on with the play. So, um, I think what I might do is I might go back to the gameplay, um, go back through the game again, and, um, and see what happens if I pick the other option. Let's look at the other uh, end of it. So let's do that. Oh, and the other thing was the music. The music was... I really like the music in this game. Alright. Okay. Is there any more to the story? Oh, there we go. Now is Pico playing in the sand? Or is this supposed to symbolize that there's new life growing? Ah. Yep. <laughs> so I guess Mira was wrong. The brood can grow life in the desert. <laughs> 